Hi everyone, this is a simple tutorial on how to install Box.com and a quick review of some of its main features. To start, we'll go to Box.com, click on Enter and wait for that to open. You will find, if you have not already done so, go to the top right hand corner and click on Sign Up and the default page for box.com on in 2017 is the business page uh, however we will be using as an example here the free edition which is under individual plans so click on individual and you can see the free plan being highlighted on the left the at the bottom here it will show you that the free plan has 10 gigabytes of space and a maximum of file upload size of 250 megabytes which is pretty okay for most starter programs whether you're an individual or business so click on sign up on the, 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 in the individual plan and fill in the information with your name etc I will leave out my phone number. I'm not giving that to them unless it is absolutely necessary. Click on submit. Oh, so they do need a phone number. Let me put it in. Click on submit. And they have sent a confirmation to the email. So if I go to my inbox, I can see here that automatically box has sent an email. I will click on that and they want you to click on this particular link to verify so I will do that and now you've been asked to sign in to the account just reuse what was used before and click on login there you are now for to get most features out of this here I would suggest you use for work even though it is for personal use click on next skip this and go straight to box and whatever they're showing you here you can peruse it if it matters I will just click it I will just shut that off this is the raw online box interface obviously there is nothing here because this is a new account now most of the time it is better to just use this when it is synced to a folder on your computer so do that just click on synced to desktop and in the middle of the page click here to download box sync which is a program that will be installed on the computer so you can use box without having to sign in online on the box application page just click on box sync if you're using windows and if this is for another program um, just come at the bottom here and choose with your appropriate device for this tutorial we use the box sync for windows i will click that and allow I'll choose keep to download the program it is 32.1 megabytes in size so it will take a few seconds to download okay it's completed so I'll click on this and I'll choose run I will agree to the conditions and click on install now that the program has been successfully installed just click on launch give it a few minutes to completely install and on the bottom right hand side you can see that box is being installed here with an icon and I'll just I'll right click and then choose login to box sync it's open in here and simply sign in again click on login
and you need to click just click start syncing that's on leave it on and if you go to your C drive you will see a folder has been created called box sync and if I open and double um, click on that to open it you'll see that it is completely empty and that is expected as nothing has been added to it uh, what happens now is that if I take two files which I'll do right now I'll simply drag it over to this folder you would see that two files are being synced with the online system after this has been synced if you can go over back to box.com if I go to just click on box and you can see the two files that I've just dragged onto my desktop let me just resize this and we have that folder there now any changes to the online system here will also be reflected here for example I can if I delete this particular file okay let me delete the image file I'll trash that and you will see that in this folder as well there it's go it suddenly disappeared so any changes on either one of these here will be synced with the other system now if this box sync is installed in several computers the main advantage of that is that if several persons are using the same sign-in for this free version is that they can all collaborate on putting and altering files within this one folder now there is also the f feature here of the trash bin and this is the file that is deleted and what I can do I can click on restore I'll click on OK and obviously this is the online system and very quickly you'll see that it will reappear on my computer here there it's been restored on my computer as well so what can be done here is simply to close off this box sync and just use this folder as a drag and drop there is one additional feature here which is very significant in, bo in box.com for example this is an excel file if I click on this particular excel file it, it, a preview of this file will now show and I can actually attempt to alter this but it wouldn't work there what can be done here is that I have to click on open and box allows you to open excel files adobe files word documents etc and work directly on box.com and those changes will be synced to any other person who would have signed in with the exact credentials as you have used so if i click on microsoft excel you will be prompted to install box tools for windows it is not necessary it is a, it is an option however for this tutorial I will use that click on download and it says keep the file seem to have been downloaded so I will double I will open that and run it okay the box tool setup has been completed click on finished and I will cancel this part here okay and there is an uh, there is a little instruction here that says once installed simply click the same open button that brought you here and your file will open in your computer so I will cancel that and go back to all files and folders and if I click on this here and then I would simply try to open this again in Excel and there we have okay so I'll close that as a warning and its box is opening Excel in this exact so I will simply just add some additional information and I'll save that 
it will sync to box.com online I will close that off go back to my files and folders and let us see if it has shown in the folder here now has this synced let's double click this this is this one on my computer and there you have the few gibberish that I have saved to the online up on my computer so I'll close that off and you can do this here with several other files like office most of the office files now that is pretty much a very quick introduction to box how to install and use box.com